Hi everybody! Today we'll discuss the two different types of bow stroke, down bow and up bow, and we'll introduce the detaché articulation. As a general rule, bowing near the frog, the handle of the bow, results in greater pressure on the string than bowing near the tip, which is much lighter. For this reason, playing a down bow, frog to tip, usually produces a very slight decrescendo, while the opposite is true for the up bow, tip to frog. This becomes more evident in fast passages. Sample modeling strings automatically reproduces this behavior so that subsequent notes are characterized by a slight decrescendo crescendo pattern in the first part of the note, emulating down bow and up bow strokes. You can see in the main window the type of bowing as used in real time. The difference between down bow and up bow can be decreased or completely bypassed by temporarily setting CC25 to zero. By doing this, no automatic ramps will be generated and it will be possible to manually enhance the difference between up bow and down bow using exclusively the parameter CC11. For instance, a down bow can easily be enhanced associating a descending CC11 ramp on the first part of the note, while an enhanced up bow is obtained with an ascending CC11 ramp. Steeper ramps will produce more noticeable results. Consider that you can also apply the technique just described in the case of multiple legato notes in the same bow stroke. Due to the limited length of the bow, subsequent notes are often performed using bow changes. The technique which involves the separation of different notes through a change in the direction of the bow, from up bow and down bow and vice versa, is called detaché. To activate the detaché mode, you can either use the sustain pedal, CC64, or the key switch D. In this mode, when releasing a key, the note is prolonged until the same or a different note is pressed. A scratch type of sound, emulating the reversal of the direction of the bow, is automatically added. Usually, a good detaché may involve an almost inaudible bow change. Sample modeling instruments apply this principle, making the transition almost imperceptible. To further improve the realism of detaché notes, especially for fast passages, you could use one of the many parameters the instrument provides, or even combine them together. You can create CC11 ramps to enhance the bow change, as explained before, or use the velocity, or CC26, to modify the duration of the transition between the notes. Feel free to try CC22 overtones to add some slight accentuation of the even harmonics, both on the attack of the note or during the transition, or use pitch bend or the attack detuning parameter to modify the pitch of each individual note or group of notes. In short, don't be afraid to shape the sound by changing all the parameters that the instrument provides.
similar to what was described for slurred legato, bichord techniques can also apply to detaché. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.